So Mesa Margiela discontinues tea escape, then launches matcha meditation. Both of the fragrances are Japan-inspired Tokyo 2008 according to their labels. Both of them focus on tea, green tea here with a little matcha, matcha here with a little green tea, although I feel like the tea and the matcha are pretty prominent here. But they go in different directions. But I wonder why they did this. Why do they cancel out or discontinue Tea Escape just to launch another tea-focused fragrance with a kind of a similar theme inspired by Tokyo? Anyway, I'm going to let you know all about Matcha Meditation today and also let you know how it compares to Tea Escape. So if you want to find out about these, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yeah, this one got discontinued. I was so disappointed when this one got discontinued. In fact, they discontinued quite a bit of fragrances recently, but it looks like they've kept the dark bottle uh, fragrances in Europe, but it's discontinued here because I see it on the European uh, Maison Margiela website. But either way, this is gone, and now we have Matcha Meditation, and I'm enjoying the smell of this one quite a bit. So uh, this is uh, created by Maurice Roussel, who I haven't seen do any designer fragrances as of late, but here he is now. And the previous couple of fragrances for Maison Margiela were created by Jacques Cavalier. He did Springtime in a Park. He also did, um, what did he do? The Coffee Break one. So now we have Maurice Roussel, who did Musk Ravageur. So what is this one all about? I'll let you know what it's all about, but before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So, you know, when I first sprayed this one, I was like, wow, that smells really great, but it reminds me of Tea Escape. But the more I wore it, the less it reminded me. But yes, it hints at it quite a bit because in the end, they're both using tea and matcha in the notes. But they're so turned around with the way the, the notes work in here uh, that uh, it makes them, you know, it different, differentiates them for sure, but distantly it'll remind you of one another. So this is a 2021 launch created by Maurice Roussel. Here in the States, it sells for as 100 ml for 135. Looks like the price has gone up another $5. These were, when I first started reviewing them uh, way back, uh, with uh, by the fireplace, they were 126. It went up to 130. Now it looks like price has gone up once again to 135 for 100 ml. It is eau de toilette concentration, but this one actually has some legs in it. I, I was noticing, uh, had some heft to it. But with matcha meditation for top notes, we have bergamot, mandarin, green tea. Heart notes features matcha, orange flower, jasmine. Finally, in the base notes, moss accord, white chocolate, cedar. Does that sound great to you, white chocolate? Now the white chocolate doesn't come up quite a bit in fragrances. One of the ones that I know that it comes up in uh, is uh, a Coromandel from Chanel with that whole uh, patchouli contrast to it. It works great there. And here with this one, the white chocolate works great as well. I did not expect the white chocolate to be here and it adds this beautiful creaminess and not necessarily like milk, it's a thicker experience rather than like a drippy milk. This one is more cream chocolate and it doesn't act like, uh, you know, dark chocolate or milk chocolate. This is more like a white chocolate, mostly like a custardy, milky experience. And it's beautifully, beautifully contrasted with that whole green, very, very green matcha and green tea note in here. So the fragrance sprays on with uh, the uh, bergamot blast. Um, of course, it's bergamot and mandarin oranges. And then the green tea, uh, you know, pops. That's pretty much a prominent note here. And you know, tea fragrances tend to be very, very cozy. I really love tea fragrances, even though when you're drinking them, if you're drinking the ones that have caffeine, they're gonna give you a lift. Uh, they are very, very cozy, just a very cozy experience. And with the addition of the chocolate in here, I feel like they've made the correct decision or the right decision. Not sure who thought of the idea of white chocolate, but they did a great, well, obviously the perfumer did. And the heart notes were experiencing the matcha, 
it gets a lot of green, you know, earthiness here because I feel like much as a node is earthy, slightly woody and grassy along with the green tea. So here that's uh, the prominent uh, experience here. But you know what else is really driving this fragrance? I did not mention that at the beginning is the jasmine. Jasmine is really, really prominent. And of course, jasmine was in here as well. But I feel like jasmine in here is a lot more uh, stand out. It's a lot more prominent. And jasmine goes a little powdery, so I'm experiencing a little bit of powderiness in here as well. But you know, also we do experience the orange flower. It's a nice, you know, contrast of two white flowers. One a citrus flower, and of course jasmine, a beautiful white uh, flower. Uh, but of course, uh, the entire, you know, experience is very tea-like right now. Tea and matcha with jasmine. Along the way, the chocolate is starting to creep in because it's starting to get uh, creamy. It's very, very creamy, as I said, and all, more of a like a custardy, creamy chocolate, white chocolate creamy rather than dark or milk chocolate. So you don't experience the the brownness of uh, you know regular chocolate. It's all cream here. And also here we have the moss, the oak moss, and then finally woodiness from cedar. So, so it's a woody experience, but it's very, very floral. And it's also gourmand. I experience a gourmand touch. And, and with this gourmand touch here with this tea note, I do experience uh, a little bit of the, um, now I'm drawing a blank with the name of the fragrance from uh, Memo Paris has a tea fragrance. It does hint at that one a little bit, the one with the dragon on the cover. I'm drawing a blank with the name, but it hints at that a little bit, not too much. That one's all very cookies and tea experience. Here, it's more about the, the sweetness from that tea fragrance, which does hint at it a little bit, and then it disappears. It doesn't fully like uh, remind me of the, the fragrance, but it, just a hint. But you know, I like that whole gourmand touch with this fragrance, and it's enjoyable. It's a very, very enjoyable experience, and I don't really traditionally myself drink matcha. I drink a lot of tea, green tea, things like that, so I don't know if uh, adding like cream to matcha tea is something that's done, but I feel like here adding it in a fragrance, the creaminess is definitely working for me and I'm enjoying uh, the way it smells. Now, how does it compare to this one, Tea Escape? So in the end, the notes that are different here, well, the, the notes that are similar here in Tea Escape are um, the green tea and mate. There's also jasmine here that's also similar. So there, there are those uh, connections, but this one has the rice note. It also has the milk note. It has some fruitiness from osmanthus and then also has mint. So this one definitely is a green experience as well. Both of them are very green, but doesn't get creamy as much as this one. Even though this has the milk note, this one has more of a creamy, dense cream experience in comparison to this one. So as I said at the beginning of the video, they do remind me of one another, but when you're sniffing them side by side, there's a lot of differences, even though they're both featuring two very, very prominent notes of mate, and then of course the green tea, but I also don't want to forget the jasmine because it appears here as well. I feel like the jasmine in here is very, very similar to this one in the, in the the sense that it's a powdery jasmine experience. But I'm, I'm quite happy with this one, really, really am. Um, I like that the creaminess in this fragrance from the white chocolate makes for a cozier experience. So I, I'm, I mean, I'm, I was gonna say I'm impressed. I'm not going to say that because it's not really an impressive fragrance. I've experienced fragrances like this throughout my journey in this uh, hobby, but it is Definitely a great wearing experience, experience, and I enjoy wearing this one. Uh, I, I love it. I really, really love it. And uh, one more thing I want to say, the green tea in here does remind me of a lot of other green tea fragrances. That's the first thing that it reminds me of. But the addition of the kind of a gourmandy touch from that white chocolate here takes it into a different direction. But I've worn green tea fragrances in my uh, many times in my lifetime. One of my favorites was from L'Occitane, green tea. I wore so much of that along with 
a green tea with mint and then I also wore their their white tea so having this uh, here is a great uh, you know addition to a collection of someone who likes uh, tea fragrances but let's see how long this one lasts in the collection now that we know this is um, discontinued if you were a fan of this one but you hate gourmand creamy fragrances you might not like this one but if you do I do recommend you try it because as I said this one is discontinued anyway those are my thoughts for uh, this particular fragrance uh, interesting that they did discontinue that and they brought this and both of them were kind of Tokyo inspired Tokyo 2008 according to the date as I uh, said earlier and we'll see what happens with this particular fragrance but let me know if you're interested in this one if you haven't smelled it yet and if you have what are your thoughts about it and then also what do you um, think about the collection from Maison Mar Margiela are you a fan um, and if you have favorite fragrances from uh, Maison Margiela do let me know and finally I remember the name of the uh, Memo Paris fragrance it's called the Winter Palace if you've sampled that let me know because uh, I wasn't remembering the name but it does hint a little bit at Winter Palace but Winter Palace to me even though it's tea they're both tea goes in a different direction for me. I think it's a lot more orange and here we don't see any orange appear in this fragrance. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching today's review. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. So according to Tea Escape's label, it says soothing green tea bubble. Now with matcha meditation, it says Zen sense of matcha tea. But both of them, Tokyo 2008, very similar ideas, different directions, different perfumers. I forgot to mention in the review, this is created by Fabrice Pellegrin. He does a lot of diptyque fragrances. And of course, as I mentioned, this is created by Maurice Roussel who did Musk Ravageur.